Hello everybody, my name is Alex Wanski from Big Time and today we're going to talk about the Emerging Sources Citation Index. So, as we all know, there are four citation indexes included in the Web of Science database. There are Social Sciences Citation Index, Arts and Humanities Citation Index, Science Citation Index Expanded and uh, the fourth is the Emerging Sources Citation Index. Uh, this last citation index was uh, started from 2015 and uh, somebody uh, and, and there is a rumor that uh, it was created as a competitive step against the Scopus database as uh, Scopus um, possess more than 22,000 of journals and other materials and Web of Science uh, possessed only more than 12,000 of journals so for the time being, Emergency Services Station Index contains more than 5,640 journals and uh, from various uh, fields of knowledge. And uh, the main thing that you must learn about this Station Index is that all the journals from this Station Index they do not have any impact factor. It's a zero impact factor by default in this Station Index. But there is good news in one year time or in two years each journal proceeds the evaluation and if it meets all the international standards uh, has good publications and pro proceeds also the publication ethics so it, it um, has a an, an possibility to be indexed in other citation indexed uh, where it will possess some impact factor in future so let's see where we can browse the journals from this citation index. Let's go to the official website. It's mgl.clearweight.com. We have a separate video podcast about uh, this database and the analysis of each of the journals. But now we will browse only the emerging sources. So here we are, the Web of Science Core Collection, and here we see the Emerging Sources Citation Index. Here we can uh, specify the journal by the title, by title words, or ISSN, or electronic ISSN number. Also, we can view just all the journal lists from this Citation Index. Another option, we can uh, browse the specific subject category and to look for the journal and also we can see some changes which may may have occurred from one of the journal so let's browse the subject category let it be for example chemistry so here we see the here we see 98 journals which related to the chemistry subject category in this index in this citation index we can see the publication periodicity of the journals uh, numbers of ISSN and the location of the publishing house of the journal so the main thing we can uh, click on the coverage and see the here uh, on the indexation in the emergency search citation index some other journals here from this website could be revealed to be indexed in several uh, publishing products over the clarivate analytics uh, and several citation index so one more time two things that you should uh, learn uh, the first one is that all the journals from this citation index they do not have any impact factor. It is zero impact factor. And the second thing is that this website doesn't uh, possess any information on the impact factor of the journals at all. So the impact factor should be searched by another ways. If you have any questions or you need a consultation whether you can publish in such journals from Emerging Sources, Station Index or other from the Web Science database, please contact our, contact our team and we will be glad to answer any questions and, all your, and achieve the results together with you. Thank you, see you soon!